Hi, today I'm going to be talking you through the donning and doffing or putting on and safe removal of your personal protective equipment or PPE. Before you get started, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. Firstly, are you using a consistent sequence to don your PPE? The sequence you should be using is body first, face second, hands last. The second thing you need to keep in mind, have you got the right fitting equipment? Are your gowns and gloves the appropriate size? The last thing you need to consider is do you have the appropriate equipment for the level of precautions required? Before you start putting on any kind of PPE, it's really important that you do some kind of hand hygiene, whether that's a hand wash with soap and water or using an alcohol-based hand rub like what we're going to be using today. The first item we're going to don is a gown. Ensuring that it's an appropriate size, remove the gown from its individual packaging. Open it up. And apply, ensuring it's fastened at the neck and at the waist. Remember, there are different designs available. An open-backed gown allows for greater flexibility and a little bit more comfort. The one I'm demonstrating today, a thumbs-up gown, prevents the sleeves from riding up. The next item we're going to don is our face mask. Today we'll be demonstrating a standard surgical face mask. Retrieving a mask from the box. Curve the flexible band to fit the mask over the bridge of your nose. Spread the mask in a downward direction and then secure the ties at the back of the head and the back of the neck. Alternatively, place the ear loops over your ears. Once secure, smooth the flexible band across the bridge of the nose and the cheeks and ensure that the mask is snugly fitted underneath the chin. Remember, if you are donning an N95 mask, you need to at this stage perform an appropriate fit check. The next item that we don is appropriate eyewear. So either using goggles or a full face shield, apply appropriately which is only touching the sides, not touching the front so you don't contaminate. The last item we're going to be putting on today are our gloves. Apply. Remember, there are different gloves available and you can get ones with an extended cuff to ensure that your wrist is fully covered. Finally, before you go in to see your patient or perform your procedure, stop and check that you have all equipment applied and applied properly, thoroughly and in the correct sequence. Remember, body first, face second, hands last. 